Warwick police continue their investigation tonight into why a father killed his four year old son. Police say Seamus Dempsey died by suicide after shooting his son Liam. Alex Torres Perez joins us now live from Warwick with what else she's learned today. Alex. Mike and Shannon, this story just gets more heartbreaking as we learn more information. Not only did we learn the victim's identities, but the Warwick police chaplain says it all happened in front of the child's mother. Police say she was the one to call 911 to tell him that her husband shot their child and that there was someone else inside that home. A somber day in Warwick. Kim Ayers lives in Warwick and drove through the neighborhood to try to find a memorial at the home where Warwick police say a father shot and killed his own son before taking his life Thursday. It's a it's a tragedy. It's a total tragedy. Warwick police say they got a call from a woman who said her husband, 33 year old Seamus Dempsey, shot their son, four year old Liam, and that their 79 year old mother in law was still in the home. Officers were able to get the woman out safely before eventually finding the father and son dead inside. People in the neighborhood and community asking themselves why? Why the child? You don't have to involve a child. The child is innocent. He, that child is four years old. He has, like I said, he has an experienced life. He hasn't even, it's just, it's just sad. Investigators returned to the scene Friday morning to talk to neighbors. 12 News law enforcement analyst Stephen O'Donnell says they're doing their due diligence to try to figure out a motive. You always have to look at all the other factors, make sure that you know everything about the victims, know everything about the suspects, talk to neighbors to make sure you have your whole investigation buttoned up and you know exactly what happened. And though we may never learn what exactly led to this horrific crime, the community is coming together and doing what it can to heal and offer support for the family. I don't know if you can ever get through this, but you know, I hope that you can. And if Warwick can help you in any way, please, we will do whatever we can to help you. I mean, that's all you can do. And in the last hour, a community member stopped by this home and dropped off this teddy bear holding flowers. Just a small sign uh, to show their support to the family flags at Liam's uh, school were also flown at half staff today. Reporting live in Warwick, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.